Hi guys, I wanted to come on and do a pen review. I received a new pen in the mail about a week ago and it's a little different for me, but I really, really love it. So I just want to share with it, share it with you now. It is of course a sailor and I got this from nibs.com and I will tell you why. Oh, she's so pretty. This is the, well, let me see what it's called. This is the 1911 Large Sailor. Um, I think it's a limited edition, but it's called The Pirate's Life. And it's this beautiful mustard color. I don't know, in the camera it looks a little yellow, but it's a really beautiful mustardy color with um, yellow gold. Came with a, a cool little pin. And then of course, as always with these things, it comes with the, the authenticity warranty Oops. and two ink cartridges. And of course, it's the cartridge converter, which is in here. Put that away. Now, the reason, you know, I, I buy my pens from all over, but the reason why I especially wanted to get it from John Modishaw over at nibs.com was because I had this modified. So this is a, this pen is a big departure for me. This I decided to get in a broad. I do not own anything in a broad or even, I think I have one medium and don't really like it because it seems too broad for me. But I decided to pick up a broad nib and actually get it modified to an architect point. I really enjoy writing with an architect point. It's, um, there's just so much character in the writing. It's, you know, it's like an, an opposite stub, but it's so unique in how it writes and you can't quite pinpoint it. And I really enjoy writing with an architect nib. And um, so this is 21 karat gold, broad architect. Now I, um, this is Tomoya River Paper from Nanami Cafe. But I had, I told, John in my notes when I purchased this that I write really high and I wanted the architect point ground at about 70 degree at a 70 degree angle. Now that was really risky because I just kind of made that up in terms of the degree of my writing but it actually this is it's absolutely fantastic it writes like butter. So this is the it's kind of hard to write with the camera right over me but this is a sailor 1911 large, Pirate's Life, broad, it's just so, so smooth, architect. So this is a specialty grind, and you have to pay extra to get it. And I have had architect grinds be a little bit scratchy for my, my liking. Um, but I think it's because I write with such a high angle. So I do find that the way that this was ground at a 70 degree angle really worked for me. This color, I originally had a mustard yellow color in here, but for some reason, for some reason, I normally like matchy matchy inks, but putting this ink in just really made it work for me. This, I really, really love this ink. This is Bungle Box Ink of Witch. It seems very appropriate to be using Ink of Witch in the month of October. Um, I really, really like this ink. I have a sample of it from Goulet Pens, and I really would like to buy a bottle of it, but everywhere I look, they're sold out. I love that this is so really, it's, it looks black, but actually it's a super, super dark purple, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color, and it just seems to really work that kind of really dark purple seems to really work with this mustard yellow. So anyways, this that's my new pen. I am really enjoying this. It is st still thin enough to write in my small, I mean, I don't have it right now, but my small um, Hobonichi grid squares, like in my weeks, and in the note notepad, it still fits. Um, I can still write really small, even with a broad nib, and it does show off ink beautifully. So that is my Sailor 1911 Large Pirate's Life. Thank you very much. Bye.